Bihar is a very turbulent place. It may be the land of uh, Mahavir and Buddha, but it's also the land where Ajaj Shatru came into being. And the last one month has seen things go topsy turvy. So when I went there, Nitish Kumar was ruling the roast. Everybody I met on the street had a lot of praise for the Chief Minister. There was a time in Patna where everybody sold off their new cars and bought second-hand Fiats because they thought their cars would be carjacked. Now when I went there, I saw people driving the flashiest cars. There is a mall which has been launched by Prakash Jha, the filmmaker called the PNM Mall, where people were queuing up to watch Hollywood films at about 11 o'clock in the evening. Eating out is on a boom. I met a team of people from the Taj chain of hotels who want to set up a five star there. But people have got the confidence now and now they have the spending power. They always had the spending power even earlier, but they were afraid they would be kidnapped. I met one doctor who's a cardiac surgeon who says that he was not kidnapped because he was a cardiac surgeon. He was the only one who set up the first heart hospital in Patna. So now Dr. Pradhan says that they want to reclaim the glory of a cultural Patna. He has memories of Patna where 20 years back, even rickshaw pullers stopped to listen to a Pandit Jasraj or a Bhim Sen Joshi. They met the police as well and they claimed that uh, over the last 10 years, the kidnapping from ransom, which was a full-fledged industry, has come down quite a lot. Now, Patna and the Bihar government has tied up with Orange Telecom and they have a state-of-the-art surveillance system with 150 video cameras which are in place. They've kind of centralized it, which is even better than a Delhi or Bombay. But the old problems remain. It's very congested still. You have open drains. You have piles of garbage in the inside lanes. So there's very little space and they've not widened the roads. And uh, because of political compulsions, there's a lot of encroachment. Nitish Kumar is leaving behind this legacy of reclaiming the nightlife as well. So I went to a nightclub, which is the only nightclub in Patna called the Discman, where I saw teenagers paying that 500 rupees cover charge and dancing till 3 a.m. At one point, the curfew hour used to be 8 p.m. Now, till one o'clock, nobody asked them. So there's a big attitudinal change. I think some of it has to do with institutes like the IIT being set up there. So there are students from all over India who come there and they expect the same trappings of big city life which they expect in a Bombay or a Delhi. There's a change in attitude. People are feeling safer. They want to venture out. They want to eat out. And that's a big dramatic change in their minds. Now that Nitish is gone, he might be remembered as the last reformer of Patliputra.